Hey there, I'm the Mad Catster. Am I glad to see you here? Well, the holidays are upon us, and I think that Oz Media is probably saying, all I want for Christmas is to keep my house, but Blair, a.k.a. Illuminati, has scheduled a foreclosure sale on his house just before Christmas. I've got more information on that, more details, that will probably make you dislike her even more than you already do, if that's possible. You know I've got the deets, I've got all the receipts, so buckle up and let's go. So I'm here with Sybil the Enforcer, and Sybil says, and she's purring away, Sybil says, please like and subscribe. We are less than 400 subscribers away from 30,000. Let's make 30,000 by the end of the year. That would be awesome. So if you'd like to subscribe, we'd appreciate that. We're going to talk today about this horrible situation that's kind of like a side drama from the main Illuminati drama. As you guys know, she was canceled because of her treatment of Wonderstruck and how she has allegedly verbally and mentally mistreated people and also because of her relationship with Oz Media where they were living together in his house but he alleges that she convinced him to make some bad financial decisions ultimately before they broke up she had him sign what's called a deed of trust which was to cover an amount of money that she allegedly had loaned him and that was recorded with the Registry of Deeds, and if he failed to make any payments, she could foreclose and take his house. Yes, you heard me right. She could foreclose and take his house away from him. And when you see what I've uncovered about the details about this debt and about what he owes her and the foreclosure sale, you're not gonna believe it, and you're gonna think she's even more of a scumbag than you probably already do, in my opinion. But first, did you know that Illuminati is going to be starring in her own holiday movie on cable? That's right. And I've got the world premiere sneak peek of the preview for that movie. And I'm going to run it right now. This Christmas, Hallmark Channel presents a modern retelling of the story of Scrooge, starring Blair Illuminati as the miserly boss, Oz Media as the hardworking employee, and Wonderstruck as Tiny Tim in what's sure to become a holiday classic a foreclosure before Christmas, coming sooner than you think. So did you guys like that? Of course, it's satire, but I made it because I'm just aggravated with the facts in this matter, and I've dug deeper to see exactly what the details are, because we knew that she had started the process of foreclosing on his house due to the deed of trust she had recorded, but let's just talk about how we got here. It sounds like it wasn't like she loaned him the money that was secured by the deed of trust, but that she alleged that he owed her money. And he says that, you know, there's really been no proper accounting. He's not even really sure what he actually owes her or if he even owes her what she's saying. And if you recall, they were living together. They had a romantic relationship, which of course broke up. It was his house and it was in his name and she was living there. Now it's not clear whether she was paying rent or if they had some kind of arrangement where she paid for other stuff, but somehow she alleges he amassed this debt. He was struggling because the amount of the debt was close to what he was getting paid every month by her. So he basically was on a hamster wheel where he was never gonna get anywhere. So he was having trouble paying apparently the deed of trust and whatever payments are due on that and once he went into default, like just like with a mortgage, she has the ability to foreclose on the debt and take the collateral, the security, in order to pay herself back. Now, one caveat I want to put up front. When we talk about this house, I just want you to be aware that if she forecloses and gets sold, she doesn't get to keep everything. If there's money above and beyond what he owes her, she has to give him that money back. So it's not like she's just saying, aha, everything for me. That's not how it works. However, you'll see how insidious this is when I found out what the actual figures were that are involved in the documents that have been filed with the foreclosure. I'm gonna show you some documents here. So the first thing that happened was that they recorded a deed of trust. And you can see here, the deed of trust was recorded on January 3rd, 2023, and it was recorded by Blair. Okay, so this was her document that she and her lawyer drew up and Oz says that they pressured him into signing. So she records it. So presumably he struggles to pay it. And what usually happens is like, you'll get a default notice, which she probably sent him. It's not on the, it's not recorded. And once she gave him proper notice, she filed 
her notice of election to basically foreclose with the county. And you can see here, here's her notice. And I've, of course, I've heavily redacted this stuff because there's names and addresses and all sorts of stuff in here. But this is the notice of election and demand for sale, which she filed. And now this is the part that make, made me sick to my stomach. I apologize for the blurriness, but these are the original documents. And unfortunately, this is how horrible the, the scans are that went into the system. The original principle, okay, this is what's killing me. The original principle that this deed of trust secured was $53,157.34. $53,000, okay? So in terms of this house, which just so you know, I looked it up and I'm not gonna post any of that here, but the house is worth about a million dollars, give or take. So it's a pretty nice house, okay? It's an expensive house. And in terms of what it's worth, $53,000 is small change. Now my guess is, Oz probably couldn't get a loan to pay her back because he says that, you know, she didn't have good credit is what he's alleging when they started their relationship. So she basically piggybacked onto his good name and good credit. And he must have co-signed some stuff in order for her to get, you know, loans. And I know like for that car that she bought for Wonder, um, Oz was a co-signer on that loan, so he probably couldn't get a loan once everything fell apart to pay her back because of the credit situation. And in my opinion, I think that he got screwed royally because this is absurd. I think this whole situation is absurd. The fact that she's able to do this. When you record a lien against a property like this deed of trust, usually there are what's called first position and second position lenders. The first position is always the primary mortgage on the property, like for a bank. So I'm guessing that he probably doesn't have a mortgage. Otherwise, the lender would never allow this to happen. Just so you know, I have worked in bankruptcy and foreclosure law before, and I've done foreclosure sales. Not my happiest moments, but usually what will happen is like Blair filing this notice of election and demand. She would have to notify his lender, and generally the lender will, alarm bells go off and they would pay off the junior lien, it's called the junior lien. Because of course, you've got a million dollar house. If you have a junior lien for 53,000, the bank doesn't want her to be able to foreclose on that. So they usually will satisfy the lien and they will tack it on to what he owes them in terms of the mortgage, the primary mortgage. So I'm guessing he probably doesn't have a mortgage, which I mean, that's a good thing, but obviously it's not helping him in this situation because he probably can't get a loan against the house. So the election and demand gets filed and here is where it's filed on august 22nd of 2023 she files the notice of election and demand and so there is basically what's called a right to cure so in other words if you fall behind and your property is going to foreclosure usually there's a statute in the state where you live that will provide for the borrower to have a certain amount of time before it goes to actual foreclosure and to, you know, to auction to satisfy whatever the arrearage was that was unpaid. Usually it doesn't get to the stage of the actual sale and the person who falls behind will take advantage of that period and they will get caught up on their mortgage. In this case, as I said, the balance was $53,000. $157.34. On the date that she filed her election in demand, the balance was $51,319.22. Now, if you are going to cure the arrears and stop the foreclosure, you have to notify the parties and you have to, in this case, file something with the county. Now you can see here, they set a deadline to notify the county of an intent to cure. So in other words, if Oz is going to cure the arrears and stop the sale, he has until December 5th, according to this, of this year, so just a few days from now, to notify the county that he intends to cure. He has until the day before the sale, which is December 19th, 2023, to actually cure it, meaning to satisfy whatever he has to give her in order to stop the sale. Otherwise, this, the sale will go forward. And, you know, they, they apparently the county requested, now this is, this is the other number that really pissed me off. 
The county asked Blair for the cure figure. So in other words, what he was in arrears by, um, not the total amount due, but what, like in terms of payments he was behind. And on August 22nd, they requested it. On August 28th, they got the numbers. And the number was, get this and look here, $4,589.90. That's all he was behind in payments. $4,589.90. And for that, and please forgive my language, this malicious is going to foreclose on his house? Because what? She needs the $4,500 so badly that she's gonna take away his house? No, the only reason that somebody in her position, especially where she at one time apparently cared about him, would do this is for vindictiveness, revenge, and just plain nastiness. She doesn't need that $4,500. She could have worked something out with him to give him time to get caught up. But no, in true Illuminati fashion, in my opinion, she decided I'm gonna screw him even more and I'm gonna take away his house because I can't. And that's what she did. So let's continue my outburst over. That's, he has to cure and the cure figure is 4,500. So now my only question is, according to the county, the cure figures expired in September. So now I don't know, because he has until December 5th to let them know he's going to cure, and then he has till December 19th to actually cure. Do they just increase the figure of the payments he was passed due to include any payments that may have come due between the date of those figures and the date he cures? Or does the expiration of those figures mean now if he cures, it's got to be the full balance? That I don't know. I'm not versed in Arizona's particular foreclosure statutes and in, in law. I have enough of my own law to deal with. So I didn't go diving too deep into that because it's not really relevant. The, the, the relevancy here is the fact that this is just plain bad faith. And I think that what she's doing is just horrible in my opinion. Okay, so she filed her intent, but now she had to mail out notices to him, any other interested parties. And then there's a law generally in each state where you have to publish a notice officially stating you're gonna foreclose and what the property is and who the lien holder is and the date of the sale and place of the sale and all that. But you can see that it's noted here. And I, what I did is I redacted basically the, the notice that was published because it's got all that personal information and I'm not gonna dox anybody. So you can see here, there's an affidavit from somebody who states that and says that she's sales center agent. I don't know whether she works for the county or whether somebody who um, is gonna handle the foreclosure sales, probably somebody who's gonna handle the foreclosure. And she basically attests to the fact that the Notice of the foreclosure sale was published five times on October 24th, October 31st, November 7th, November 14th, November 21st. So once a week, every week, and it's usually like a local newspaper. The sale has been set and here's the sale date. And you can see the auction is listed. And again, I've redacted. So it says it's going to be on December 20th at 10 a.m. And it will, if he doesn't cure, it'll go to sale. And they actually go usually to the property i've done this you have to like make entry which means you have to step onto the property usually you have to read some legal stuff out and then you conduct the auction in this case i'm sure it's going to go well over what she's owed and again she would then have to by law turn over any excess proceeds less any expenses like for the auction and stuff to us so he would get some money from the sale so i'm hoping he's going to come through with being able to cure this. So for what I'm seeing in, in Oz's social media, he is intending to try to pay her back before the foreclosure sale. And I actually tweeted him. I'm sure he knows this, but I just tweeted him to remind him, be sure you file your notice of intent to cure by December 5th. You don't wanna get screwed out of your ability to do this. And so what he's doing is, he's furiously been producing content trying to make money off of his channel. And he posted some tweets here. This Friday, I'm gonna be doing a streaming push on my main channel to help secure and end the foreclosure proceedings on my home by obtaining what's known as a cure amount. So he's clearly aware of what the cure is. 
And he says he makes a note here that says the cure amount separate from my legal fees because he had started a GoFundMe, I believe it was, to raise money for his legal costs. He's explaining that 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 was for his legal fees, and he had made that clear when he set that GoFundMe up. So he's going to be streaming on December first tomorrow. So if any of you want to support Oz, go check out his Oz Media channel and check out his live stream and maybe. You know, help him out with a, a few bucks, whatever you can do. I think the kid deserves it, in my opinion, because I think he's been terribly mistreated, in my opinion, and he's being screwed over. And he also goes on to say that while I still need to do the math on what's left, and I'm still going to need official amounts from the Colorado trustee, that's who oversees the sales of foreclosures, I can get a rough estimation of what I will need. I'm sorry that it's come to this. I really wanted to aim to have this side of my woes handled on my own. So he was probably hoping he would be able to make up enough money producing content between when he was first notified of the sale and when he had to cure. Clearly he's coming up short. The fact that he's got a million dollar house shouldn't stop anybody for giving him sympathy because clearly if he could borrow against it to pay this off, he would. Um, but he can't because of her, according to what he said. So I think he deserves help. So that's where we stand. And um, I've got my fingers crossed that he's going to come through. In my opinion, she is the devil incarnate for doing this to him over, what was it? $4,589.90. Really? You know, petty, 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 petty vindictive, nasty. It's just the lowest, most disgusting thing I've seen an ex do to their former partner, especially given that she is in the much better financial position with her channel than he has. And the fact that he worked for her and neglected his channel while he worked for her and shame, 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 Shame. This is all documented. I just showed you all the documentation. This she cannot duck and say, oh, well, you know, that's not really the whole story and blah, blah, blah. It's in black and white here that she's going after him for less than $5,000 and she's intending to try to make him homeless because she is just a nasty person, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of all of this. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me that Oz deserves some love. I'm so grateful for you guys. And thank you so much to all of our Patreon patrons as always. And to all of our channel members. If you're interested, the links are down below. The Cat's Amazon wish list is down below. I don't have anybody to thank today. But all of you have been sending stuff. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. I'm going to make another video in a few days because there's a couple of things that I have research done that I still want to get up. But in the interim, take care of yourselves, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Party, please. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell. I get a treat for every new sub. Thank you.